Assalamu alaikum and hi my gems. I'm still not well, <coughs> but I'm still obviously trying to do as many videos as I can. Today's video is going to be about my beautiful Anaya haul, and that's a Islamic shop which sells uh, clothing like abayas and jubas for men and women uh, to fragrance books and uh, you know ornaments frames and stuff like that the only shop that they've got is in bradford and it's islam living and the top section of the shop is my anaya the things that i've got is like one from the order that i made online because you can get 10 percent off so i said why not and when I went to the shop, I got all the books and stuff because uh, my sister wanted some. So I've got the uh, the uh, package. Uh, yep, yeah, I've got my delivery of the two buyers that I bought and the books that I bought and the cardigan that uh, I bought um, from the actual shop. And they give you this beautiful Anaya bag. <clears throat> So yeah, um, I'll just start off uh, with the uh, books first and then I'll get into uh, the clothing things. So the, so the first book that I picked up was uh, the uh, Don't Be Sad, La Tahazan. And this is a, a translation from a Arabic book and it's by Dr. A. Al-Qarni and it was for £13. Now I have made a start on this um, book. It's really good because it tells you how to deal with, uh, you know, daily troubles in your life, um, you know, with prayer, and with patience and with, you know, the author's advice and everything. So it's a really, really good. When life gives you lemon, make lemonade. So basically this section teaches you how to basically um, uh, take out the positives out of negatives. So for example, if you were to, um, now this is just on top of my head. Um, if you were sent to jail for some reason, instead of like, you know, grieving over why you've been sent to jail, just make something out of your life by thinking, you know, what can be done good out of the life that you're going to or the time that you're going to spend in jail. So basically things like, like if Allah gives you troubles, try to always take out the positive things out of life from those things rather than negative. So that's why it means if Allah gives you lemons, you might as well make lemonade. So always take out the positive from the negative. That's what it is. So I really love this book. It's really, really good. It really brings you, you know, the positive vibes. And that's what the best thing about this book is. So the second book I got was, and I really needed this, um, Guidance for a Muslim Wife. So uh, basically, obviously, we should all strive to be the good, obedient wife that we could be. And um, this also gives you like, you know, a little bits and bobs and, you know, it relates, relates it to Quran and uh, Hadith and, you know, real life stories of the Sahabas and stuff. So <clears throat> this was for 150. It's just like a thin book, really. And the other book I got was Don't Worry, Be Happy, which I'm assuming that is going to be very similar to Don't Be Sad one. And this was for £6.50. <clears throat> by Molana Muhammad Hanif Abdul Majid and this is how it looks I haven't even looked at it so inside what you know about the content and stuff so I wouldn't know so yeah that's that we kind of get like you know dra like you know we really get stuck into the you know affairs of this world of this life so much that we forget our real motive in this world so that's why I really wanted these things because these books will inshallah really really help a person if they're going through or if they've got you know a sense of realization of what their life is really in this world so yeah so guys another wonderful book that i picked up was this one enjoy your life by dr muhammad abdul rahim al arifi my sister has made a star on this and this has to be one of the fantastic writings <clears throat> that are present to us today because the author has put his 100.1% into this book <clears throat> only because I've read the introduction of it and he actually explains everything and this book is actually an adaptation of uh, the book that was written by a, a American writer who was Dale Carnegie and he wrote the book how to win friends and influence people and he actually suggests in his Dale suggests in his book that a person should read this uh, read his book um, you know monthly so um, 
Dr. Abdul Rahim, what he did was he actually, you know, uh, followed his advice and kept on reading his book and he implemented his princi principles that he wrote and then gave examples of, you know, the famous people in his t uh, time, um, basically how they influenced people. So when he started doing that, he just, uh, Dr. Abdul Rahim was just so amazed at how things, you know, could actually influence in you know people in your life if you implemented the principle so he thought how wonderful would it be if this Dale, Dale Carnegie knew obviously the Islamic side of things and he actually wrote the book then then he thought why should I not basically do such a thing so he started to look into um, Islamic history and you know the life of the Prophet the Sahabas and you know all the other things and it actually took him <clears throat> 20 years 20 years yes 20 long years to actually get all the materials together to get all the research together and then put it into this wonderful book so and the author actually says i've actually wrote this book with my blood now when an author says it it must mean something and the author does not only want the readers to read the book but also benefit from it and he says if you do you will see the wonders the fruits of basically reading this book so guys i honestly cannot stress enough that it's so important for us to read such well this was for 15.99 and i think i've spent every single penny because my sisters said she absolutely loves this book those were the four books that i bought the the two more one my sisters the my other sisters read and one my other friends reading so let me start on the clothing so i've got two abayas one a waterfall cardigan and one like a um a bunny so yep yeah, it fits wonderfully really good on your head uh, it's so comfortable it doesn't tie in your ears up and stuff. if you're a, you know wear bonnets and stuff you probably know that you know the string one you can tie it you know as much as you want and plus i looked at um nabili b doing her tutorial um and she put a tube one on so i really wanted that and it's just so comfortable um fitting on your head so that's that you know from that uh the waterfall cardigan um that I got is this beautiful light grey with a, a belt at the back and I, and this was for nineteen ninety nine in the colour grey. It's just like a standard um waterfall. Um it's got some beautiful detailing on the neck. Uh the material is absolutely gorgeous. It gives you such a nice flow, such a nice finish uh when it's on uh your body and it's got a wonderful um belt at the back which makes it more look more classy and i cannot stress enough on the material that material is absolutely gorgeous uh so yeah you can basically pair this on any abaya any outfits and like how great is it really in it's just such a, a classy such a standard beautiful color to wear so i can't wait to pair this with some outfits and abayas that i'm going to wear so now we'll start on with the uh, package that I received of the abayas through the post. And the first one I picked up was this standard black one. And this one is actually called High Colour Neck Abaya. And this one was for $14.99. I'll set a video to talk more in detail about it. So the abaya is um quite stretchy it's such a comfortable material now obviously as abayas are meant to be you know um loose fitted on your body that's how it is it's uh, really comfortable to wear and like i said it's quite stretchy and i got it in the size 52 because i'm not that tall i love the detailing on the arm and the neck it gives such a beautiful flow and such a beautiful look uh, as an abaya on your body. So that's that. The second thing that I picked up was this beautiful grey jersey material abaya. And this one was for £40. And it comes with an extra button because it does have a button detail the material is quite thick so this would be a perfect abaya, abaya to wear in a chilled weather like winter time maybe but you can also wear it uh, in summer time because of its perfect design as you can see it's got buttons all the way down it's got some little buttons at the bottom so you can always do tie it on you know fasten it it's got a press fasteners on top 
so you can always uh, fasten it on top and leave the bottom or fasten it uh, all the way through it's just got such a sleek chic finish to it um, it, and all the abayas actually come with a pocket so it does have a pocket I just love the detailing and how they've designed their uh, sleeves it's just wonderful it's absolutely beautiful it looks it makes you look like a lady how you should look like so yeah I can't wait to wear this abaya because it comes in a beautiful gray shade color and you can just pair it with any color scarf like literally any color scarf it is loose fitting again and i absolutely love the finish of it and how it looks so yep that's that and um um yep so i hope you liked uh my haul for the anaya and i absolutely loved every single minute spent in that shop and every single minute spent on the online um to order the buyers and i love the quality of the material the quality of things that they've got and you've got to visit it if you can, uh, which is in Bradford. And <clears throat> so, guys, like I mentioned before, uh, the book really has been helping me. And it's not it's not just me saying, reading it and then helping me. You've got to implement the things that they say in your life for, obviously, um, the results to come out in front of you. So, yeah, um, that's that. And I just hope everybody loved, uh, loved uh, my haul as much as I did because I honestly have to say this one has to be my favorite video because it's just so hot you know touching really honestly it was so i hope everybody else uh, feels the same and um i'll see you in my next video so until then take care and inshallah keep smiling because that's what makes everybody happy so Allah face bye